doing this. And I am bisexual. But I also don't want to label myself and, and just now, from now on, everybody's like, oh, Shane, the bisexual guy. I, this is the last video I'm going to do where I talk about it because it's not me. I'm Shane. I'm a comedian. I'm a writer. I'm a director. I'm, I'm a YouTuber. I'm a podcaster. And I am bisexual. It is totally okay to be a girl who likes girls or a boy who likes boys. And me, personally, I am a girl who likes girls. Hi, I'm Kat Fitzgerald and I am an ally for the LGBTQ plus community. Hey everyone, my name is Amanda Wan. I like boys and I like girls, so that is my part of this community. Kat asked me to be a part of this video and this is just such an important topic and I'm so glad that she wants to make a short film about this, so I said yes without a doubt because yes. So I am a part of this video as a member of the LGBT community, um, you should be proud. Hey Kat, so you actually asked me to talk about LGBTQ plus people and coming out and as someone who's straight I've never actually had to come out and I don't ever anticipate having to come out because straight people don't do that. So I found that I was on YouTube watching a lot of coming out videos and I did find a lot of common themes and there was something that I did want to share with you based on what I did learn and that's if there are people who are choosing to come out, one, I feel like they should know that they actually don't have to come out if they don't feel comfortable or if they don't feel safe. And secondly, come out in a way that's unique to you. Just because Connor Franta and Tyler Oakley have made videos coming out to the entire world doesn't mean that you have to do it like that. Find a way to tell the people that you care about. Hi, my name's Emily Tressa and I'm transgender. Ever since I could truly express myself, I've always known that I am female. Being assigned male at birth did not work for me. I have always identified as female. Throughout my whole childhood, I struggled within myself because I was living inside a body that didn't match up with who I was inside. <laughs> I am the type of person that will fall for someone's personality rather than their gender or their looks or anything like that. Like I fall for how people act and how they treat me and stuff like that. I kind of look pretty confident when I'm saying that right now, but believe me, it took me a good like six, seven years to actually say it out loud to someone other than myself. And that took a lot of like courage and a lot of time. But I'm here now. I am 19 years old and I am happy to say that I am bisexual. I was this totally flamboyant female living inside this boy's body that was not right. I was a little boy playing with Barbies, dressing up in dresses, wearing high heels, dancing around to Hannah Montana. And that was the only thing that could take me away from my discomfort of being in the wrong body. I have always known I'm female, I've always identified as female, and never once have I been like, I wish I was a boy. Never once in my mind have I had a single doubt about who I am, or de-transitioning. I lived as a boy for 10 years of my life, and now I'm 15. I went through preschool, kindergarten, you know, all the elementary school stuff, um, mostly as a boy. A little boy that had hair that was about this length and no one understood. I was so unhappy I used to come home and cry um, because I, I was just so unhappy. I was angry. I was like, why am I like this? But throughout my whole elementary school, I was like, no, I finally need to make a move. I need to come out as Emily. I need to show the world who I am and not be locked up within myself. So when I was in fourth grade, I came back 
school as Emily. And I ruled the world and I was so happy because I felt for real like my outsides matched my insides in a sense. And obviously I still have struggles to this day. Like currently I'm on hormone blockers to block the testosterone from my body. And now I take estrogen to help me develop breasts, get a little curvier, more feminine facial structure. My transition was very smooth because my mother and my dad have been very supportive of me which I am so lucky for because they just they mean the world to me. <laughs> Currently I'm 15 and I'm a freshman in high school in New Hampshire. Obviously I had like the normal struggles that a teen would have, just multiplied a little bit. Like multiply it by 10, times 10, just because I have to worry about my downtown situation. Like I have not had surgery or anything like that, which sucks because I can't legally. I am just like, any other teen, what's in between my legs is nobody's business. What's in between my legs has nothing to do with anybody else, okay? I'm just like everyone else. I deserve to be treated like everyone else. I didn't necessarily have to come out to my family because they saw me throughout my whole childhood and they were like, oh my God, this is not a boy. We do not have a boy. <laughs> Our child is not a boy. They knew. Just because I expressed that to them. I was angry. I was like, this is not me. For everyone, coming out is a, is different. Just because it depends on what type of situation you are in with your family or whoever you're coming out to, if it's a friend. For me, it went very smoothly. I didn't have to come out to my parents, but I did have to come out to my classmates. And how that worked was my parents wrote an email to my school explaining what transgender is. Um, how I will be returning as Emily and just like a little backstory about all that, which helped explain it. It just helped get them there to understand like what's going on. My personal advice would be Maybe write a letter or sit down with whoever you have to talk to and be like, I have been so unhappy my whole life because I don't feel right within my body. Say that. Let this person know that you are so unhappy with who you are and that you deserve to be happy. You deserve to make a nice smooth transition, become your full self, and show the world who you are. Explain what transgender is, how you've been miserable your whole life, and how you continue or hope to go forward in your future as the new you. 42% of people in the LGBTQ plus community report living in an unwelcoming environment. I think that it's time to change that. But basically, if you're struggling to come out, if you're struggling to face that inner thing that is trying to not make you be who you are you know I know how you feel but the first thing I have to do is you have to accept it you have to sit with yourself you have to sit down and be like this is who I am I should not be ashamed of it and I should love it and I should embrace it and I think sometimes what we have to do to become comfortable with ourselves is sometimes we need to look at ourselves and tell ourselves we are beautiful we are beautiful or look back on those days where people have complimented your outfit or something about you and be like they thought i was beautiful they saw the beauty in me i need to see it now too other people's opinions on my sexuality and who i love should not matter the only people that should matter is the people that you love i guess like not even like if they don't like it too bad that sucks for them the only person that you should try and gain acceptance from is yourself you should accept yourself and once you do that you'll be so much happier we need to accept each other no matter what our differences are we should never make someone feel like they are wrong or feel like they're not human due to who they love if someone is gay bisexual queer transgender honestly anything we should be accepting them as a 
society. At the end of the day, coming out shouldn't be as big of a deal as it really is, but if you want to come out, definitely know that there are people who are in your corner and know that your safety is always important. So do what feels best for you. And I hope that this video helps you in some sort of way because I don't want to pretend like I know what you're going through in any sort of way. So coming out is something that's on your mind. I hope that these thoughts that I've had help you kind of make a decision. Equality, it doesn't have a sexuality, a race, a sex. It's, it's for everyone. That's the point of equality. So thank you guys so much for watching this beautiful short film. Thank you once again, Kat, for having me in this. And remember, love is love. Thank you for watching. And if you have any more questions, please feel free to visit hrc.org.